hey everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new here make sure you subscribe and if you're already in a subscriber hey Jim and uh, it's good to see you again so as you just saw we're going to be doing these like winter wonderland crisp white nails <laughs> um and as you can see it's a different pair of hands in the video it's, that's not mine they belong to my sister um she and I are just nail fanatics. We love getting our nails done. We love new designs and everything. So you might see her here and there on my channel. But um, today we're just going to jump right in. I have so many videos of me prepping the nails and prepping the tips. And I will link them all in the cards and in the description box so you can see how I prep my nails and how I prep the tips for application but today we're just you know getting right into the design um instead of acrylic or builder gel i am using ibd's hard gel um everything that i use will be li linked down below always check my description box i always have everything in the description box um so here i am i'm just going to prep for a gel application so with this I'm just using the builder gel and I'm going to use some glitter and I'm going to pretty much ombre it. So it's not going to be a full glitter nail. It's just going to be about maybe three fourths of the nail that is going to be encapsulated with glitter. Um, I'm going to cure that into the mini here sky lamp. And then after that, it will be time for it to apply. Um, we always trying to figure out new ways to do things with gel X because as you know, encapsulation and other things might be hard because some things are bulky or some things aren't so i just love finding new ways to do things with gel x so as you can see i put a layer of builder gel on and i applied the the glitter i cured it and now i'm going to take my tip and i'm going to add the hard gel and then apply it to her nail as you know, apply it at an angle, hold it secure. Apply pressure and then allow it to cure fully. I already started by painting the nails that I was going to paint white, white off camera. I'm going to now take my Born Pretty. If you guys know, this is the milky white, nut white color um, because we're going to be doing pixies on the pinky nail and I don't want it to be clear underneath. So this layer is going to give it a nice like opaque, not so opaque background, but it's color there if that makes sense. So it's going to be like a, a nice flush of color there and it's not going to just be a clear nail. And I'm going to do these on the pinkies. And sorry if the lighting is off a little bit, but I'm recording on a different surface and I didn't have all my lights and stuff. So it's okay, but it is not my best. When our in our index fingers, we're going to be doing like a marble kind of nail, but we're not going to marble the whole nail. You guys will see I'm going to take a white color, a blue color, and then this mauve color that I got from a set on Amazon. Um, if you haven't, I'll check in the cards. I'll link my holiday Amazon haul that I got. And we're going to do a marble kind of nail. So many people marble with, do marbling different ways. So what I'm gonna do is take my little plate that I use. I don't even know what it's called, like a gel polish holder thing it's a nail art design like surface so that you know you can easily i don't know what i'm talking about it's a nail art design surface that's what we're going, we're going to call it and then we're going to go ahead and just take the gel white gel polish and just wiggle it we're not going to cure it we're not going to do anything else to it just wiggle it across make it like a like you're you're doing art almost and then we're going to take the end of a cuticle pusher and take some of that blue polish and then we're just going to swirl it into the white um having the white not cured makes it easier to swirl so that's where the marble effects come from and then we're going to just do a mixture of the blue the mauve and you'll see me add a little bit more white in the end just so that the white doesn't get lost so 
it came out really pretty um i definitely will be doing this in the future full nail half nail however i choose to do it but yes And I just want to take this time right now since I am actually just doing, going through the process of the nail. And just say thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. Like literally within a week, my channel jumped from like 320 something subscribers to almost 400. We're at like 385 subscribers, y'all. Like <clears throat> I just am so thankful and I'm so blessed and I'm grateful for all of you um stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out what i'm giving away this video i haven't quite decided at this point in time because i did pre-record but we will figure it out um this is me adding some glitter to the marble just to, i don't know give it a little wintry effect we were going with winter tones whites blues and you know things like that I'm going to cure that in the lamp. And now we're going to add a outline to the glitter nail. This is it's just adding some white into the glitter nail just to tie everything back in together. Um, I used to use like a brush to do these outlines, but I found out it was way easier and it's more opaque if you just use the brush that comes with the gel nail polish. So yeah, it gave it a nice straight line. I didn't have any issues. And I didn't even need more than one coat. And now to my favorite part. Seems like you guys' favorite part too when I did my other video. Um, applying the Pixies. I had to use my manicure bowl that I usually have to clean and prep and all of that other stuff. Because I couldn't find my little diamond tray that makes it easy to, you know, pour your glitter or pour your pixies or pour your rhinestones back into the jars. So, just be wary of that. And like I said, everything will be listed and linked down below. If I forget to link something, just ask me in the comments and I'll make sure I link it and I'll give you the direct link to everything. So, if I ever forget something, don't hesitate to ask. I will be sure to and gladly and glad to do that. So, yes, I feel like this pixie nail just sets off the whole set. It gives it that, that snow look, that icy look. It's one of my favorite things to use in the wintertime. It just adds to, like, the ambiance of winter. Like, when you think of winter, you think snow, Christmas, snowflakes. You just think of all these, all these different things. So, that's what we were going for. And white is her favorite color, so I had the pleasure <laughs> of doing a white nail nail um, design for her. And this is the end of the video. I'm going to apply cuticle oil, lotion, and then... Stay tuned to the end and we'll get right into the giveaway. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys till the end. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, join the family, become a gem. You can ask any anybody. They love it here. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.